Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Terry. And welcome to the Forest Farm Project. We're back at Terry's old house and today we're going to hang some sheetrock. Uh, we're going to give it an attempt anyway. Yeah, we're going to do our best. <laughs> we need to get the ceiling covered up because it's getting dark and it's getting chilly. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be tonight. It was like 20 something last couple nights. It's so. supposed to be 70 tomorrow though. So. Yeah. But who knows <laughs> tonight it's cold yeah plus there's no telling what might come down out of that attic <laughs> bats or bears or something nah. squirrels yeah squirrels squirrels <laughs> all right but yeah, yeah we're just going to get some sheetrock going and see what we can get knocked out before we get too tired to keep going yep i don't have a clue what we're going to do to you not really let's okay. rock and roll let's do it <laughs> All right, let's see how wide this sheet needs to be right here. We're going after one of the worst ones, this big old panel right in the middle of it. Looks like we're 55 and, is that 5 eighths? Let's see what it is down here at about 48 inches. 55 and a half, ah, that's kind of boogery. It's off a little bit right there. Mm. 55 and 5 eighths. We're going to go with the 55 and a half. There'll be a little gap back there. It's not going to matter. It'll be behind the joint. So 55 and a half off of this first sheet, correct? Yep. 55. And a half. Hadn't done any of this sheet rock in a while, so don't laugh at my work. Do the best I can. <clears throat> mm. There it goes. Snapped right on the line, just like you want it. <clears throat> Woohoo! We got it. All right. Help. Okay, thanks, sir. Yep. I'm gonna just stick this up there. Yeah. See what we got. That looks like pretty much a perfect fit. Yeah. Clean that up just a bit. And I believe we're in line. Now we need to cut it here and here for the panel. And we'll see how far down it needs to come in a minute here. I forgot, it's been a long time since I did any sheetrock. You need to cut the front, not the back. When I scored it a while ago, I scored the back. I got the job done, it worked out okay, but technically you're supposed to score the front. That way, if it tears up, it's on the back, not the front. From there down, I would say 21 and three quarters. That'll give me about a sixteenth of an inch of play. There we go. And there's one. Come down 21 and three quarters. Twenty one and three quarters. Now I'm gonna mark this. Because I am going to have to use the sheetrock saw. 21 three quarters down. I'm no expert at this stuff. If I use a razor knife, I'll probably destroy it. Look at that pretty line. Eh. It's there. I'll give it that. It's there. <laughs> Good enough. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
okay. Let's see if that bad boy's gonna fit. I look like I'm gonna have to trim a little of that. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully it fits, huh? Yep. Up higher. There we go. And, man, that's close. Needs a little trim right here. Well, that's going right in. I was worried about that not fitting. Right here, it's not fitting. This old edge from the former sheetrock is like zigzaggy, you know? Mm-hmm. Guess I'm a risk taker here. I'm just gonna try it right there. I believe that's right. By the way, this here, uh, a buddy of ours does sheetrock and he'll be sheetrocking the houses we build on our property. And this is his screw gun made for sheetrock. I can't explain it. All I know is you put the screw in here and it will set that head to the proper depth and stop running. I like it. Thank you, Perry. Yeah, thank you, Perry. Uh-oh. There's a steel uh, nail plate there. Nail plate. <laughs> you, you can't screw in the nail plates that don't work. <laughs> I've tried just then. Okay, let's get that thing cut out in case I screwed up and have to take it back down. <laughs> let's hope not. You want to hold that a minute? I'll hold that. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you want this thing straight on. If you go crooked, it ain't gonna do good. There you go. Oh, thank you.
Well, guys, we are not very enthusiastic. <laughs> mm -mm, tired. <laughs> Neither one of us slept much, and it's been a 14-hour workday for us between going and buying stuff and hanging sheetrock, shimming, we, we'll, tearing a wall out. We'll be the first to say we're not fast at sheetrocking. No. But if you look, if you can see those boxes... They're all cut out pretty close. That's kind of boogery, but not too bad. <laughs> we, yeah, and we did it a little backwards. You should generally hang the top, the ceiling first and work your way down. Yeah. But we, uh, the room ended up being, these are 10 foot sheets of sheetrock. Mm -hmm. And the room, as you can see on the sides, we barely had to trim anything and it worked perfectly for fitting. The ceiling, not so much. <laughs> Yeah, apparently it goes out like that. <laughs> we were measuring down here, so if you're going to put rock on the ceiling, measure the ceiling. Don't measure down here. Because yeah. <laughs> we're like, oh, that's going to fit tight. We'll put the walls up, and we won't have to cut a 12-footer. We'll just use a 10-footer, and it's going to be a solid sheet. And we got up, and they're like, what the crap? <laughs> <laughs> it happens, but it works. Yeah. It's done. We just got a little hole up there yet. We got to dig out a sheet. We've got to... A partial sheet in the shop and we have to dig that out it's a nightmare mm -hmm. right now so we'll get that sometime between now and the next video but sheetrock is in now we got to figure out how to get mud on it yeah we'll get it if i never sheetrock another room it'll be too soon yeah <laughs> we're gonna have our buddy perry doing our houses yeah he's not a sheetrocker he's a sculptor of sheetrock yes he is he does a phenomenal job yeah excellent yep but I'm about as enthusiastic as nothing right now. So yeah. let's, let's call it a day. I'm going on two hours of sleep. And it's almost 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. It's been a long day. We started at 6. On the plus side, we had taco dog for lunch and pizza for supper. Yes, we That's did. a good day. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good day. Yeah. All right. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And I guess have a good one. See you next time.